Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about functions in python programming so guys we will learn about the python function and the function expressions with the help of examples so basically a function is a block of code that performs a specific task so it can be any task that you want to implement based on your requirements but it is the block of code that you can put inside the function and that block of code will have your implementation of the logic now suppose you need to create a program to create a circle and color it so there are two tasks over here that is first of all in order to create a circle and the second thing is to color it so you can create two functions to solve this problem that is the first function will be to create a circle and that will be one function and another function will be to create a color over here so basically what we have done is we have divided a complex problem into smaller chunks which makes it easier to understand the program and reuse the functions as well so there are two types of functions so first of all we have already seen some standard library functions as well one of the example is the print statement that is the print function so these are built in functions in python that are available to use so let us check some examples of standard library functions over here so previously we have seen the print statement so this is nothing but one of the built-in functions which take multiple parameters so one of the parameters is the value so when we are providing programming for beginners this string which is the name of the YouTube channel as well which you should definitely subscribe so this is the string that we have provided to the print function and this string is being passed to the print built-in method and behind the scenes this print function is having some sort of code that will help us in order to print this statement on the terminal so when we save this file and try running this code now basically this programming for beginners is getting printed what we have done we have just called that function and the implementation is behind the scenes so this is one example of a built-in function similarly we have another built-in function that is range which helps us in order to have the list of numbers from 0 up to the number that we have provided so let's say we provide the number 10 so it will provide us all the numbers before 10 starting from 0 so this is another built-in function so similarly we have other standard library functions as well now you can also have the user defined functions so in case your requirement is not fulfilled by using one of the standard functions that is being provided by python you can have your own user defined functions also so we can create our own functions based on our requirements and this is the syntax that is first of all we have this keyword that is def F, which means define and then we have the function name so this function name will be the name of the function like this range is the name of the function then the print function the print name is the function name over there so similarly we can have our own function name and after that we have the list of arguments we can have any number of arguments over here inside that we will have the function body where our implementation code will be present and then we can also have the optional return statement which means it will return some value so over here as you can see this is the example we have the define keyword and then followed by the greet function over here so it is not taking any arguments for now it is simply printing some statement that is inside greet function now how do we call this function simply we use the function name that is greet followed by open and close parenthesis and then we call the print function and we say outside function so guys let us check this with the help of example over here so simply we will have the define keyword so def and let's say we have sum and then underscore numbers so basically what we are doing over here is we will be adding two numbers so over here we have the open and close parenthesis and then after that we have a colon and let's say we have the number a it is equal to 10 and then we have number b it is equal to 20 we want to print the sum of these numbers so we simply provide print function inside this and we say a plus b and then we can also have the string over here let's say we have sum of a and b and then we have colon and then after this we have comma and then we have a plus b over here so guys this is the function that we have already defined we have two numbers that is a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 now if we simply save this file and try running this code we will not get anything so as you can see there is no print statement which is helping us in order to print something on the terminal why so because this code is present inside a function which is not called yet so we need to call this function that is sum numbers so how do we call it by simply calling 
calling the name so we simply have to provide some numbers over here and then open and close parenthesis and that's it we have simply called this function which will make the control flow go to this particular function over here and inside it will go it will check that a value is 10 b value is 20 and it will print sum of a and b it will carry out this operation that is a plus b so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see sum of a and b it is equal to 30 and that is how we can simply provide the function now guys why do we write this function just to add two numbers so let's say you have a scenario you have a it is equal to 10 and then we have b it is equal to 20 and you want to print the sum so you can simply provide print a plus b so you will get the answer as 30 now with the same requirement you have another requirement as well in the same code that is with this particular addition you want to add more to number so what you will do is you will simply copy and paste these lines of code once again that is the three lines of code over here but this time the a's value is something else so let's say we have something like 50 and then 60 over here so what will happen is with this print statement it will print the sum of these two numbers now let's say there is another requirement in which case all the sum needs to be printed at once and you have two more numbers so you will again copy these lines of code and then again paste this over here and then let's say the numbers are 100 and then 200 over here that is b is 200 so let me just save this file and try running this code now so what is happening is all the sum is getting printed once that is 30 110 and 300 but let's say similarly if you have 10 sets of a and b values in this way and you want to print all the sum of those numbers so what you will do so your code will become little bit complicated and it will be little bit lengthy as well so in order to avoid this what you can do is you can simply have the function and in the function you can have those variables and have the sum of those variables so in order to achieve your task that is have the sum of multiple numbers over here in one screen and using the function what you can simply do is you can pass these values that is 10 20 50 60 and 120 while calling the function that is sum number so i'll just remove these lines of code now over here and what we will do is i will simply provide the parameters that is the arguments over here that is a and then followed by comma and then we have b now these a and b are not required because the values will come whenever this function is being called so i'll just remove these lines of code over here you will simply have one print statement inside the function and the sum of a and b it is a plus b so this sum will get printed over here while calling the function you're supposed to provide the a and b value so what we will simply do is i will simply call this sum numbers over here and i will provide the values of a and b so what we had provided we had provided 10 and 20 and then again we had the requirement that is to add the other two numbers which were 50 and 60 so again i will just copy paste this sum numbers function and provide the different values this time and then again i will copy and paste this once again with some different values so 100 and 200 so as you can see our code has become little bit cleaner instead of having three lines of code in order to add two numbers every time for which our code has also become lengthy we have a very short code and it is very clean as well it is very readable as well so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we are getting sum of a and b it is 30 sum of a and b it is 110 and sum of a and b it is equal to 300 you can also customize your function in order to have the values of a and b over here so we can simply say over here we have the double quotes and then we have comma and then we have a over here and then we have double quotes and then we have and keyword double quotes and then b value and then comma and then double quotes over here before the colon so as you can see a and b values can also be printed so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 10 and 20 were passed first time so it is saying sum of 10 20 it is 30 then sum of 50 and 60 it is 110 and then sum of 100 and 200 it is 300 you can call this function any number of times with different values in order to get the different sum over here i'll say 200 plus 300 again and then let's say i provide 400 and 500 over here let me just save this file and try running this code all the sums are getting printed and our code is also very clean over here so guys this is the main functionality of using python functions you can simply have the define keyword followed by the function name and then this arguments list is optional over here you can pass it or if you don't want to pass it there is no need to pass so as you can see over here 
Python function arguments this we have already covered that is in order to pass the argument now one last thing is return statement so guys we have not checked any return statement over here so return is nothing but it will return some value so let's say instead of having the print statement over here we want the print statement outside the function so what we can simply do is we can simply return the expression that is a plus b so we can have the return keyword over here so it will say return a plus b so simply what whatever value were being passed over here that is 10 and 20 it will return the sum that is 10 plus 20 it is equal to 30 to this code and over here we should have something in order to catch that value so i'll just remove these lines of code for now and then let's say in order to catch the value i provide the sum variable so this sum variable is assigned the value that is being returned from the sum numbers over here which is equal to the sum of these two numbers and then simply we can have the print statement in order to print the sum value so sum variable can be printed so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see 30 is getting printed that's because we have passed 10 and 20 over here also to make it more short what we can do is instead of storing the value inside this variable we can simply have the print statement and inside the print statement we can simply call the sum numbers function so as you can see we have the print statement inside this we are calling the sum numbers 10 and 20 so it will return 10 plus 20 it is equal to 30 so let me just save this file and try running this code now so 30 is being printed let's say i change the numbers to 20 and 50 over here so 20 plus 50 should be 70 let me just run this code so 70 is getting printed and based on the requirement you can format the print function that is you can have any statements being printed over here along with the sum of the numbers so guys this is one of the examples of how you can define the functions and use them you can have any other logic inside the functions that you want to implement based on your requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different output the important benefits of using these functions are the code reusability that means you can reduce the lines of code that you want to implement and the code readability as well it becomes very important when someone else reads your code and he or she understands it more appropriately so guys please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is function arguments in python programming so stay tuned